have a meeting with Ronald to understand what his plans are, what's the current status of whatever that he's pending, and uh, what is he doing to overcome the temporary issues that we are facing, and uh, to understand the goal what on what Cloud is trying to achieve and how they're going to achieve it. So I'm going to be asking Ronald a few questions that may be delightful to some of you all that are needing answers right now. So stay tuned. Hotels and all that are going down and all that. Oh, no uh, we're getting very, very good deals, so mm -hmm. it's about 20 to 40 percent. Uh, no block out rates, no block out rates, no block out rates. No block -out rates. Yeah. I mean, for us, uh, we started on the 17th mm -hmm. of last month, uh, and it's going to be a one month. Yeah. Uh, we have clocked in about uh, 8,000 to 9,000 deals. Wow. We are, I mean, according to the travel agent, we are mm -hmm. even bigger than booking mm -hmm. in the first row. <laughs> so, uh, what we're trying to do is to um, see if we can uh, uh, build, build our business from that. When we build travel, we, we did not think of a business in travel. Okay. We just thought about having uh, another outlet for our redemption. For our redemption. Mm -hmm. um, so, we might turn into a kind of business uh, mm -hmm. where we put people in and then they'll start to do tours and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, much better. So, mm -hmm. if you have uh, 20 uh, people, a uh, uh, team, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean uh, a group, mm -hmm. so uh, you can go through us, something you'll do the best for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything online, you know. I mean, through the app itself. Yeah. So, it's going to be more concierge based. So, mm -hmm. you're actually locked in there. Mm -hmm. uh, you tell them uh, what you need from where to where and things like that. Mm -hmm. Then they will come up with the package. package yeah. And the package are all in CTOs. Yeah. So, so it's a concierge base uh, we are going to try to build it. Mm. Oh, interesting. What's the plans with Jarvis 2.0 and this cloud sim now? Um, I think there are a lot of uh, videos around mm -hmm. on that. Uh, but basically, the uh, long story short is mm -hmm. we are trying to make things legal mm -hmm. by um, rearranging how we take the, uh, the, the asset mm -hmm. from the member. Last time is I'm a broker, mm. you pass me an asset, I trade for you. Mm. I need a brokerage license, I need an RMO license. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right? uh, to get RMO license uh, in Malaysia, it's also difficult, but uh, I think we can get it very soon. Mm. Uh, but there's only one place. You think about we are in 150 countries, right? Mm -hmm. Unless uh, they all start to um, start their own company mm -hmm. and use their company to, uh, to, to engage us, mm -hmm. then it's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what a lot of uh, others are doing. Okay, um, so we thought of another easier way, which is to uh, turn the business around by doing this. Um, uh, and end of November, uh, there will be two contracts to sign. The first contract is called a PDPA contract. Mm -hmm. So it's the privacy, uh, personal data yeah. privacy act, yeah. uh, which uh, will um, ensure that uh, we cannot use your information okay. without your consent. Okay. Right, well, that's one. Uh, the second one is actually a subscription-based contract. Uh, inside there, there are four points, which you need to, uh, actually five points, uh, but the four major ones is number one, how we turn your current uh, asset into a subscription. Okay. Okay, that's one. Mm -hmm. The second one is, okay, now because it's a subscription, uh, we need to pay tax for your, uh, your involvement. Okay. I'm giving you a SIM card which will provide you a one year service mm -hmm. okay, of, uh, uh, of data. Mm -hmm. Which each one I'll give you 5 to 12 percent yield of data based on your uh, participation. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you participated like 500 US dollars, mm -hmm. uh, you're supposed to get, let's say, uh, 50, uh, let's say 30, 5, 30. 10 data mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay? And uh, the, the third thing is actually on the withdrawal side. Mm. So the withdrawal side, because it's now a subscription-based contract itself, uh, we will return your asset back to you uh, from uh, 1 to 30 days, mm. uh, which will uh, uh, schedule. Mm. Okay? Uh, this is also because uh, we have learned from our past mistake uh, during uh, September, uh, September the time, where a lot of other projects died. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's a mass influx of uh, withdrawals yeah. and we did not handle it very well. Mm -hmm. We should actually stagger it out. Because what we did last time I was um, we actually forced the boss to shut down to we re mm -hmm. um, release the funds. The funds. Mm -hmm. So this has caused the 
they are about to lose a lot of profits. Mm-hmm. That's what means doing a trade halfway, it needs to stop and then you take out and mm-hmm. So um, we actually lost a fair, a fair bit of uh, trade volume there. So uh, now we are trying not to do the same mistake twice. Uh, so we uh, let the user sign this contract itself. We'll give your uh, asset back to you, okay, uh, as, as what it is. Mm-hmm. Let's say we're putting Ethereum, Ethereum, we're putting Bitcoin, Bitcoin, things like that, right? Uh, uh, within one to 30 days uh, after the schedule. Mm-hmm. So that's the third. And the most uh, important, the fourth one is, okay, this is not a, a this is a redemption program mm-hmm. itself. Uh, we are telco, we are providing a telco service, mm-hmm. okay? So what you're getting back is in data. Mm-hmm. What you do with the data is entirely up to you as a member itself, mm-hmm. okay? Um, you are able to go to the OTC and resell the data for whatever you want. Mm-hmm. So that's also another uh, avenue for you to make extra uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, wealth. Mm-hmm. Right? So you mean you can sell the data for like cryptos like Bitcoin, yeah. Ethereum? Okay. okay. Um, you, you can actually do that because in, in, uh, see, we might not need a lot of data here, but uh, mm-hmm. in China they might need a lot of data, mm-hmm. so uh, data can, can be for sale for them. Data can be converted to CTOs as well, mm-hmm. uh, and when you convert the CTO, then you convert to anything else. Mm-hmm. So basically that's the idea. Uh, but in order to make the platform uh, completely legal, mm-hmm. okay, we cannot have the conversions inside the wallet itself. Okay. It needs to be outside of the wallet. So uh, the OTC itself, uh, which is Ribbons, the third party run, uh, Change and uh, we are just another um, uh, another user mm-hmm. in the OTC mm-hmm. okay, to actually look at good deals and then we will uh, not let go of the deal. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the company itself, uh, with whatever profits that we earn for that particular day itself, will look uh, at the beginning to us. Uh, let's say, for example, we made uh, a half a million dollars that day itself. Okay, we will take about sixty uh, percent because at the beginning, I think a lot of people want to sell, right? We we'll take about 60 70 percent of our profits to buy from the lowest priced uh, uh, deal to the highest price deal, mm-hmm. so it goes all the way up this way. Okay, uh, and the most important thing is the uh, members itself can see what is being cleared, what is not being cleared. Mm-hmm. Okay, all the deals that is being handled, all the things that is still pending, and things like that. So you have a visual of what is going on mm-hmm. uh, at least. In that okay, way. because this is a P2P um, exchange. You are able to request uh, a lot of things. Uh, for example, um, let's say you would like to uh, have bank transfer. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So your deal is okay. I will give you CTO for bank transfer. Okay. You bank transfer me the the, 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 the local currency, mm-hmm. and I will send you the uh, uh, CTOs mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. Uh, for data or for. Will there be an option for us to like buy bitcoins and Ethereum on this P2P exchange yeah, as well? Yeah, there will be other coins supported. There are actually four, five coins supported. So mm-hmm. your Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, your uh, USDT, mm-hmm. and then your DAI. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you go in there, you buy DAI, and DAI is actually uh, being used for uh, Rogue. Rogue. Yeah. So uh, this is one of the things that is uh, there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are trying to help members by trying to clear off as much of conversion as possible mm-hmm. uh, that can be done through themselves, mm-hmm. uh, through the OTC as well. Uh, we are actually giving the cards actually for them to actually come, uh, change the skills into uh, 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 local currency mm-hmm. and uh, draw the ATM uh, We have a redemption channel now mm-hmm. which they can redeem all sorts of stuff, mm-hmm. uh, Uber, uh, Bazaar and the rest of it. All, uh, Mm-hmm. So um, we believe uh, through this many many means, of course, you can also top up uh, the SIM cards. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can also uh, uh, book hotels. Uh. So I think using this kind of ecosystem provide, provided through our uh, infrastructure itself, uh, there are more ways to use than just convert. Okay. So yeah. once the convert is solved, mm-hmm. okay, then by the end of the month, we'll try to solve the uh, problems. So um, there's no longer going to be any withdrawals from the uh, app itself. Uh, app itself. Mm-hmm. It's going to be sent out to the exchanger, mm-hmm. uh, the OTC. Mm-hmm. The OTC itself, you have two parts. Mm-hmm. One is the peer-to-peer OTC, which mm-hmm. so we're going to launch uh, within uh, uh, I think 70. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
then they, there's another one which is called a Fiat OTC. Okay. So the Fiat OTC itself, okay, uh, is a bit different. We need KYC for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are initially we're opening up to merchants. Mm -hmm. So uh, merchants who want to actually uh, sell cryptos and things like that, mm -hmm. we can do it. Mm -hmm. But only in non-restricted countries. Uh -huh. So for example, if you're in uh, uh, Thailand, no problem, you can use it. Uh, Vietnam, not so much. Mm -hmm. uh, other places, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Malaysia, you need an uh, e-money license. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Indonesia, you need an e-money license. Mm -hmm. Philippines, no problem. Mm -hmm. okay, so these are the things that uh, we're going to be doing. So, uh, we have uh, actually I got the first uh, e-money license in Indonesia oh, okay. about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, my company is called uh, uh, Maxi Tech. Maxi Tech. Then I actually sold it to a Singapore company, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, trying to see whether we can revive that and uh, get the license. So once we have that, then we can book. We can go to any merchant and start accepting uh, CDOs. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like how. Project, uh, yeah, uh, grab pay and everyone is. So uh, yeah, we're trying to become more like them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if a new uh, if a new investor wants to invest, let's say from the Middle East, they still use the same process to invest. Same process, mm -hmm. uh, but you have to go through an OTC to buy uh, the uh, major coins to come in. Okay, that's a, you still still go on as normal business as usual. That's what we are trying to do. Of uh, course, we're trying to uh, hit our target. The thing is, this thing has itself, um, they are they're working now around the world. Mm. Uh, we just opened four more countries, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Myanmar, and um, one more, uh, in Vietnam. Right? So, yeah, this, these four countries are there. Uh, so, all in all, we have 13 countries now mm -hmm. that are supporting the SIM cards. Uh, in Southeast Asia, uh, and the member, not okay, sorry, there are two, we classify as two now, customer and partners, partners. Okay. partners or members, which is the affiliate side. So the non-affiliate one, those are just to use the cards. Mm. So for them, it's very simple, right? You buy my SIM card, you buy my SIM card itself, uh, you get uh, like two or three gigs, uh, mm. let's say for three 50 bucks or 60 bucks, mm -hmm. okay? You just pay once, and mm -hmm. then you keep getting data, but then right. data is quite little. Mm -hmm. So the more data you want, okay, because I will generate CTOs for you, mm -hmm. or generate all this for, uh, data for you, when you want more, you can buy from the OTC. Mm -hmm. So in at the same you keep buying. Mm -hmm. So the data actually buys from the members. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have a consumer, then we have a producer. Right. So the producer, you guys are all the producer, they produce a lot of data, mm -hmm. and then those that actually want to use this. Now, if you look at the normal telcos, right, they mm -hmm. force you to pay every month. Right? Yeah. Every month you pay, you pay, you pay, you pay, you pay, you pay. This one is you pay once. That's about it. And then data you can, uh, yeah. If you enough data to use, then okay. Like, mm -hmm. If you don't have enough data to use, then you will buy from the users. There's no expiry for the same time, is it? No. No, actually it's one year. But uh, because every month, right, we give you data itself, right? So it's actually topped up by itself. Top so uh, it, it's renewed every month. Mm -hmm. So all the top-up will be over the air, over the air couple of top-up as well. Uh, yes, yeah. right. But the client itself, uh, the customer itself must download cloud token into their phone. Uh, through, through the same that itself, we can download the oh, is it? Oh, that means you only really have the program. The program yeah. Right. yeah, so these are good for um, any countries which has uh, a website restriction. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. We call this a traveler sim, so it's for travelers. Um, the merchant program, um, I, I briefly mentioned, um, basically what, he, what happens is, if there's a qualified merchant that you sign up, uh, that the members have for, um, the member itself will get um, per transaction, 0.5%. Okay. okay? Uh, if you look at how GrabPay, Alipay and everything mm. is, right, the, the merchant itself have to pay. Yeah. But this one is we are paying the merchant. Uh, and for the affiliate itself or for the member itself, we get 0.5% of that transaction itself. Mm -hmm. And 0.5% will go back to the uh, sales and service center mm -hmm. of the cards in that particular region. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, that's what we are planning to do. 
So like the, um, the concept whereby um, you must be affiliated with a certain uh, outlet. Mm. So for example, um, in KL, you have uh, this experience center, mm. you have to sign up with this one. Mm. So any merchant that you uh, sign up for, mm. um, you will get a 0.5% share with your upline. Mm. Mm. Okay, uh, the merchant will get 1%, mm. and 0.5% will come to this center here mm. to support you for your courses. So we will hold the same desk for you and things like that, like warehouse, and also we have a space for you to bring your new prospects to come to give mm -hmm, the mm -hmm, whole piece mm -hmm. and things like that. Understood. So do you all have like a specific POS system that you all use for the merchants? Yes, we do. Uh, we have one, but we are actually trying to um, um, change it to another model to mm -hmm. support MFC. But yeah. what we have is only um, uh, scan, scanner base. Mm -hmm. yeah, so QR. we are going to change it to the uh, NFC base. Mm -hmm. Uh, we only support crypto, so uh, any that cryptos will be used to pay using this terminal. Yeah. Yeah, Good. So, uh, just statistics, Ronald. Do you have like any latest statistics of uh, how many countries clouds actually operating in right now? What's the number of members, right? Hundred and fifty countries. Not mm -hmm. much change, but the only change is the accounts that is created now is over a million. Okay. Um, we are, the affiliate tree is about 3,700 over levels. Um, but all, this, all these numbers would mean very little mm -hmm. uh, after the uh, change uh, by mm -hmm. the end of this month. Because a lot of members itself uh, have already left, mm -hmm. the account is still there, the tree is still there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do uh, house cleaning. <laughs> okay. uh, so uh, the two contracts which there's a to sign here, yeah. you have to sign within the next seven days, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, all the accounts will be turned into a normal user account. Okay, yeah. all right. So all the assets, okay, there's some members right there waiting for withdrawal mm -hmm. uh, because they're scared or whatever, huh? so they're waiting for withdrawal, okay. which we, we blocked up purposely. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we really purposely uh, stopped the withdrawals. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not because of any congestion or anything, we, we just purposely stopped it. The, the two reasons why we stopped it is this. Uh, we found out that the C0, C1, and C2 are the hardworking ones that mm. actually um, are actively engaging the market. Um, we can see that the, the, the C0, C1, and C2s, there is a growth mm. in, in the, um, the revenue mm. or, or the, 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 the things that they're doing. Mm. But the C3s are quite stagnant. Mm -hmm. Okay. The C3 will come, will use whatever the C, yeah. C1, C2 build, yeah. but they're quite stagnant. Because we can actually check how much is the effort and how much is okay. the effort. Um, and uh, this C3 itself, we, we saw another pattern. The pattern is, even though they are not doing a lot of things, mm -hmm. but their CTO keeps growing. growing. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking, why is it like that? They're it's like a lot of people are transferring them, mm. a lot of CDOs. Mm -hmm. So we found out that they're actually scaring the, uh, the C0, C1, C2s, uh, mm -hmm. saying that you know, a lot of uh, uh, bad things about C uh, cloud uh, is going to close down, uh, this, uh, that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. don't have money to pay you off, uh, <laughs> whatever, whatever. And uh, they're taking this chance to actually get a very cheap price on the CDOs. Uh. So you're talking about 51 cents now, right? Mm -hmm. They're actually getting it at uh, probably 15 cents or Ooh. 16 cents. Good profits from that. Yeah, so they don't even need to do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, what actually if they just buy, then it's, it's still uh, not too bad for us. Mm -hmm. okay? But what they're doing is after they buy already, in order to get more faster faster returns, uh, they purposely um, um, say that, no, I see my, my son is building, right? Mm. Okay. And they reinvest the, the, the CTOs into Jarvis. Jarvis, and then we grow. Uh. Yeah, so they are actually cheating the system. That's why we actually stopped the withdrawal system to fix mm -hmm. this uh, issue. Mm -hmm. So, because yesterday, uh, a lot of them can't actually come in. Yeah. Uh, it's because we are modifying the the uh, the, 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 the reinvesting, mm -hmm. the re entry uh, portion. And by now, when you come in CTOs, it stays as CTOs. You can't make it to become any other things, mm -hmm. all right? 
So this is the first time. Once OTC comes out, okay, there will be a limit on OTC on how much of, uh, CTOs you can sell. Mm. So based on your reputation, uh, it's about five thousand for a start. Mm -hmm. I think that's quite a lot. That's mm. yeah, it's yeah, quite a lot really. Um, the couple with the card itself. The card, if it's your normal level, is about five hundred US dollars, mm -hmm. euro, which is quite a lot. Mm -hmm. But they are making a lot. Okay, that's quite a lot. Uh -huh. uh, the card's limit is about thirteen thousand. Uh, mm -hmm. so per day. Quite a, uh, oh, it's, oh. It's, it's the card's limit. Uh. Limit uh. Yeah. Okay. But it's like, for example, if you use two hundred dollars for the thirteen thousand, right? Mm -hmm. You can always top on that one. Sure. This maximum is inside there is not that much. Yeah. But every day you have a maximum how much you can use. Yeah. And that limit is set by uh, MasterCard itself, not us. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, ATM machine when you draw and things like that, right? Sure. It's actually set by the yeah. ATM provider. Yeah. Like that, right? Yeah. right? So a lot of things we cannot control. Okay. Now, if you have all these avenues to actually uh, get all, all these uh, uh, assets, right, mm -hmm. or into fiat at the highest uh, rate possible, mm -hmm. then you will not sell uh, cheaply. Which is what is happening now. So uh, we believe that um, with all this thing in place, we can cut off these guys. Out. So mm -hmm. if these guys have a lot of CTOs that is stuck, mm -hmm. okay, they'll think about ways to sure. yeah. to offload it. Mm -hmm. So one of the ways we believe that they can offload this is to create multiple accounts to offload their coins, sure. which we will probably see in that time. So what we're gonna do uh, then is to do this. Okay, uh, we are going to make sure that the app won't run on emulators. Sorry, the app itself won't run on emulators uh, okay. on PC. Don't put it on PC. You run like 50, mm. 60, right? Lose we'll make sure that it won't run. So the way we make sure that it cannot run is by uh, detecting the physical hardware. Sure. For mm. the touchscreen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you won't have a touchscreen, but if you are emulator. Mm. So, uh, and the existence of the mouse on, mm -hmm. or, or dry pad inside. So, uh, that's one of the ways you use to detect whether you are on the actual physical device mm -hmm. or you're on the emulator. So, we stop that one really. The second one is um, because when you do OTC trade, you need to communicate. Yeah. And the communication uses the, uh, the cloud chat system. Mm -hmm. yeah. The cloud chat system, we took a long time to write it, and there's one portion which is very good. You only, let's say you have 20 cloned uh, wallets inside mm, there, right? okay. uh, all cloud. It doesn't mean that 20 is all running. Only one yes. of this notification will be running. Yeah. You need to register to it. So, if you were to run a cloner, you cannot register. You only register whatever is active at the, at the moment. So, if you create 50 uh, uh, this sales uh, uh, through all these 50 accounts in the OTC, and somebody comes in like that and try to buy with one of them, which you cannot get the notification, mm -hmm. right? And this guy, after 12 hours, is able to give you a bad rating. 12 okay. hours of non response. Mm -hmm. You give a bad rating, and when you have bad rating, the limit or the max limit uh, will drop. Yeah. Nobody will actually trade with somebody who shows a bad rating. Yep, yep, yep. Right? So it's uh, the thing that we are employing. Now, so. Uh, OTC, uh, they can't go so much out, the card, they can't uh, re re review so much. Okay, so the only avenue for them is actually the reinvest part. But the reinvest is only to CTOs. So for them, it's, uh, it's still like the square one. Mm. So which means that you reinvest into Javis but in the form of CTOs. Yeah, mm -hmm. but the only way out is only through the OTC, which is where you bought from the first time. Ah, okay. So he's actually virtually stuck inside this mm. to use the CTOs, right? Um, so the next thing that we're going to pull out is actually uh, the long-term programs. So for the long-term programs itself, is you take CTOs to invest into this long-term program for like two to six months, then you get a certain yield. The yield that comes back is not the CTO, but okay. in actual uh, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, major points. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, this is what we are trying to do. We're not trying to kill them off. We're not trying to um, do what we're just trying to say that please play, play fair. Mm -hmm. And if you play fair, this is the rules, okay? And you follow the rules, we will give you a good, mm. uh, uh, I mean, a profit. Yeah. So, not to really kill them off, uh, not to really you know, beat them up, but it's to 
is to treat them with uh, the same respect mm-hmm. that uh, I think you have before. Mm. I mean, you want to cheat the system, we found out, we fixed it. Mm. Uh, instead of driving you to a corner, mm. okay, we leave a door open for you. This is the way to show you. Fair enough. It will be much more loose be calculated for C0, C1, and C2. Mm. Yeah. We calculated for it. And um, only if I test all the C3s and C4s. But we are going to think of the C4s, so the C3s are the only ones. I mean, <coughs> not, all, not all the C3 deals are bad, right? Mm. It's just that uh, the C3 deals has the power now to swing uh, to good or swing to bad. Yeah, so we're trying to. Uh, Penalize all the bad ones mm. and keep them all out. Because at the end of the three years, we want to achieve about 100 million uh, consumers or customers, mm. uh, 1.5 million um, I mean, networkers, and 20 million merchants. Mm. So at the end of the day, your CTOs, one CTO, we got a surprise, will become one share in the company. Mm. Now, we, when we hit that dealer mark, uh, we are on the radar of almost everyone mm. because we are the largest independent non uh, uh, venture cap yeah. invested company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's a private company itself mm. uh, that is as big as, as uh, half the market is in Southeast Asia. Mm. We are the biggest Southeast Asia again, uh, and yeah, for them to jump start. The e-commerce, mobile commerce industry is going to be about trading. Yeah. So this is what we're aiming for. Yeah. For them to buy us off, how much can they buy us off with? Let's say for example, my total circulation is about let's say 130 uh, uh, million in CDOs itself. Mm. All right, not the total supply, mm. the total circulation. Mm-hmm. So it's 130. We show that these are all what. Collected from the, the, the everyone. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> We're gonna use our PE times ten times, twenty times, thirty times. So at least if a unicorn is really a billion, yeah, that's really nearly ten times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. PayPal is worth hundred and five million. Okay, until this time, I think we are worth around there. Mm-hmm. So let's say 50 PE, okay, uh, we're still like maybe 5 billion or so, mm-hmm. in market 6 billion or so. And if one share equals to uh, that time, so we've got time as well, we've got a million uh, CTOs with you, mm-hmm. so just times 5 times to this 5 million bucks. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Three years for a long time. Sweet challenge. Yeah. And within the three years time, every month you still get whatever you're supposed to get. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the whole uh, idea. Mm. Uh, and the whole office is moving towards it. Mm. And uh, we just need to cut the front, um, try to use our own communication channel through yeah. Cloud Chat. Uh, and Cloud Chat is unique itself uh, mm-hmm. because it works for one. Mm-hmm. Uh, second thing is uh, only members who have invested into Jarvis before. Oh. We'll be able to see yeah. the message. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so no fun. And uh, we don't want to actually just put our stuff on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube and, uh, and all sorts of things. Mm. You know, mm. to, you know, every time when we do something good, we believe that you know, it's more transparency put mm. up there. And people will just take out and attack us with it. So we have learned our lesson. Uh, so we try uh, to do it the proper way. Mm-hmm. Yeah.